Join us as we take a break from working on the cars for another pedal box road trip. drag strip and you might recognize it from a lot of episodes of Roadkill Garage as their somewhat local haunt for when they're testing their builds. We went there for a red list event, part car show, part social and importantly lots of racing. So let's start there. There were a lot of 9 second cars out there, but not everybody was having such a great time in the sun. After this not so standard Zephyr got the drop on the Fox body off the line, it put down a solid 1070 run. Unfortunately, as it crossed the line it popped out a huge cloud of smoke and crawled off into the distance. One of only a handful of German cars that were in attendance at Formosa, this A4 was extremely quick off the mark. But unfortunately maybe a little bit too quick as it tripped the red light, so no matter how fast it was down the quarter mile, it wasn't going to get a time. Getting ready to stage, this flat black Nova looked like it was ready to put on a show, and it definitely didn't disappoint. Further back and waiting for their turn, there was a really good selection of runners, including this Supra, although there were far more Chargers, Mustangs and other domestic vehicles, including a few SUVs and quite a few pickups, including this Cyclone, which is actually the first one I've ever seen in the wild, a 4.3 V6 turbo and one of the first production trucks, if not the first, to have a four-wheel anti-lock braking system, so says Wikipedia. There were more pickups in the wings, forming something of a show element, mostly lifted, some wide track and many on monster wheels. This GMC has frankly preposterous 35 inch tall, 12 and a half inch wide, that's about 90 centimetres by 35 centimetre tyres, on 24 inch rims. And while the ones at the front were slightly narrower, you still probably couldn't call them small, and they all stuck out from the wings by at least 4 to 5 inches.
Further along from the pickup truck group who'd all arrived together were two frankly dazzling cars with a weird pearl coat flip kind of wrap on them. Absolutely no doubt they looked spectacular sitting there in the evening sun, but I can't imagine there'd be much more than a liability to drive anywhere near on the road. Back in the lanes, a couple more interesting cars had rolled up in the queue as it had moved along. One fairly angry looking parachuted MX-5 and a fairly surprising looking Huracan, which looked fairly normal bar the slicks, but really was far from stock. And just further down, another parachute wearer, a Corvette, with a very telling number plate. The MX-5 was probably the most serious looking thing in the lanes. Sitting on some big meat, at least for a car this size, and some really skinny fronts, plus the obvious cage and parachute. But the front end really left no doubt as to what this car was about. Poking out of the bonnet, a huge Pro Charger, and on the side, the Telltale 445 suggests this maybe has a Buick Nailhead V8 in it. Unfortunately, not every run goes perfectly, and you've got to feel a little bit sorry for the guy when something like this happens. Queuing behind this 991 Turbo S to do a run down the strip was this 260 or 280Z sporting a massive precision turbo where once there was probably a grill and I guess a bumper. And to complement it, a massive pair of exhausts just barely long enough to get out past the wings ahead of the wheels. At the back, a big pair of Hoosiers tucked into the arches, and something I'd not noticed when I took this video. A cooler tucked underneath the rear valance, and a couple of dumbbell weights right down on the framework. Above that, a parachute, naturally, and some panelling to smooth out the airflow, and yet more weights on the cage underneath the boot lid. Again, something I've not seen before, but it makes a lot of sense if you're struggling for traction. at 146 miles an hour seems a pretty good way to round out part one of this trip to Formosa. Check shop.pedalbox.show for all of our merch and if you'd like to support us more directly you can go to patreon.com forward slash pedalbox show to support our builds from as little as a dollar a month. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell if you want to get notified when we put up new videos and you can follow us on all the usual channels at pedalbox show. Thanks very much for watching and join us again for another video.